welcome. In this video, we will look at examples of a short straddle and two short strangles that a trader could place on Microsoft. At the time of making this video, Microsoft is $40.98 a share. A trader could place a short straddle by selling the $41 call option and selling the $41 put option that both expire in about six weeks. The call option costs $1.24 and the put option costs $1.45. Selling both means the trader collects $2.69 up front. The strike price is $41 and the trader is collecting $2.69 up front for selling the options. So for the trade to be profitable, the price of Microsoft has to be within $2.69 of the $41 strike price. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of Microsoft has to be above $38.31 and below $43.69 when the options expire. Instead of a short straddle, the trader could place a short strangle by selling the $42 call option and selling the $40 put option. The call option costs 82 cents and the put option costs a dollar. Selling both means the trader collects a dollar 82 up front. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of Microsoft has to be within a dollar 82 of the strike prices. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of Microsoft has to be above 3818 and below 4382 when the options expire. The trader could also place a short strangle using options that are further out of the money by selling the $43 call option and selling the $39 put option. The call option costs 49 cents and the put option costs 65 cents. Selling both means the trader collects $1.14 up front. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of Microsoft has to be within $1.14 of the strike prices. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of Microsoft has to be above $37.86 and below $44.14 when the options expire. Let's flip the price chart on the side and look at the potential profit as well as the break even points for each choice. The x axis shows the price of Microsoft at expiration. The y axis shows the profit or loss. The short straddle trade has the highest possible profit at $2.69 per share maximum. However, the range that price must remain within for the trade to be profitable is the most narrow. The strangle that is closer to the money has a lower maximum profit than the short straddle, but it also has a larger range that the price of Microsoft can move without the trade losing money. The strangle that is further out of the money has the lowest possible maximum profit, but it also has the largest range that the price of Microsoft can move without the trade losing money. Looking at the three choices, for the short straddle, the maximum profit is only obtained if the price of Microsoft is exactly at the $41 strike price when the options expire. If the price is even one penny away from the $41 strike price when the options expire, the profit level declines. For instance, let's say the price of Microsoft is at $41.50 when the options expire. $41.50 is above the $41 strike price, so the put option expires worthless. However, the call option has 50 cents worth of intrinsic value. The price of Microsoft is at $41.50, and the trader sold the right for someone to buy the stock from the trader for $41, so the trader loses 50 cents per share on the stock. However, the trader received $2.69 up front selling the options, so his profit is the $2.69 that he received up front, minus the 50 cents of intrinsic value, for a profit of $2.19. The trader received $2.69 up front, so the break even points become the $41 strike price plus or minus $2.69, or specifically $38.31 and $43.69. At these two points, even though one option still expires worthless, the loss on the other option exceeds the upfront collected premium. For the near money short strangle, the maximum profit is obtained if the price of Microsoft is between $40 and $42 when the options expire. So while the short straddle only obtains maximum profit if the price of Microsoft is exactly at $41, the short strangle obtains maximum profit if the price of Microsoft is anywhere within the $2 range of $40 to $42. For the further out of the money short strangle, the maximum profit is obtained if the price of Microsoft is anywhere between $39 and $43, which means that the maximum profit has a $4 range compared to only a $2 maximum profit range for the near money short strangle and no range for the short straddle. Looking at all three choices, it is important to note that the straddle has the highest potential profit, but as price moves away from the strike price, the potential profit declines at the fastest rate. Likewise, the near money short strangle has a higher potential profit than the further out of the money short strangle, but the potential profit declines at a faster rate as well. For instance, if the price of Microsoft was at $38.50 when the options expired, 
All three choices would still be profitable trades. However, the short straddle which received the highest upfront premium would be the least profitable. The trader collected 269 up front, but the put option has 250 worth of intrinsic value, so his profit is only 19 cents a share. The near money short strangle collects a premium of $1.82 up front. If Microsoft is at 38.50, the put option has $1.50 worth of intrinsic value, meaning that the profit for this trade would be 32 cents per share. At 38.50, the short strangle used in the further out of the money options has the highest profit. Selling a $43 call and a $39 put means the trader collected a dollar 14 up front. The call option expires worthless and the put option has 50 cents worth of intrinsic value, so the profit on this trade is 64 cents, twice the other short strangle. So that's looking at a short straddle and two short strangles on Microsoft. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.